What's up, Kingdom Explorers? Welcome back to our brand new video, and in today's video, we're gonna be doing a little bit different video. We're doing a bacteria check. And you might be asking, what does he mean a bacteria check? We're gonna be checking and swapping a bunch of different things to check the bacteria on it. And check the bacteria that might grow, might cultivate and all that. But this bacteria, we're gonna be using plates and swabs and flies. Yep, you heard it, flies. We're gonna let flies eat a, a certain food. Get these swabs, get it wet, and then swab it. And then we'll see what kind of bacteria might grow, what color, and we just observe the bacteria and see what we can find about it. We might swab a bunch of different things, but that's the main focus of our video. So, flies carry bacteria. They land on trash, they land on dead, dying animals, and they carry a lot of bacteria. So, we're gonna use these plates Take a couple days to see the bacteria grow and we'll see what we can observe. Now we're going to take out maybe three of these. We're going to leave them in our house at room temperature for an hour or maybe a little longer but we're going to refrigerate the rest so that we can use them later. We're going to see what bacteria we can find. We might do this video tomorrow. Let's go. And we'll see what bacteria we can find. Why are you guys here? Alright guys, so it was raining before and it's drizzling right now, but we're still going to do our experiment. Okay. We have an onion right now, half cut, but we're going to use it. You can see flies on the trash can, and we're going to test our experiment. We let this dish sit in our house for an hour at room temperature after we put it in the fridge. And you can see that it's so rainy, then we have to hold an umbrella over the camera. Yep. See? We're going to use this onion to attract these flies and then test the bacteria. Now, these flies are seen as disgusting insects. And you might be asking why or you might already know. But it's because they eat rotting flesh, they eat d nasty, disgusting, mold-filled, everything. He's they can eat anything. They can eat rotting flesh and even nasty old mushed up mushrooms or anything. They can literally eat anything. And how do they eat? Hmm. They don't have teeth. So they actually throw up acid on the food that they're eating and then slurp it up. Flies throw up and poop a lot. Not every time they land, but they poop uh, to throw up a lot. Mm -hmm. Now, flies generally can live for 15 to 30 days. They can lay larvae and maggots, usually in moist and warm conditions. Oh, mm -hmm. These maggots are yeah. actually the larvae of baby flies. I, I have to scrunch down. You can see the flies rubbing their hands together, and that's actually them cleaning themselves. They need their hands to sense different things, to see it's where food is at, different aspects that they need. There are many different species of flies. There are actually more than 160,000 species. I love this. And they are all around the earth. What? Flies do sleep though. They take naps actually throughout the day and they usually they can find a place to sleep at night. For small. Like there. They can 
sleep on walls, uh, fences. Cars. Cars. Is that ailments? Maybe. The ground. Now, flies have actually many eyes. They're compound eyes, and they is called simple eyes. So they have two compound eyes, and they're made up a bunch of simple eyes. And this helps them get a very broad view of everything that's around them so that they can sense when things are. No, um, I watch a video and, and I saw a fly and it's too green, too um, green oh, eyes. And, and inside the two green eyes, it's a bunch of eyes. Mm -hmm. And I can see far away. Yeah. I you can't, eyes. But you can't see the many eyes. I believe those simple eyes are called omatidia. I have a question. Yeah. Um, do flies fly single or do they fly with a partner? Partner. No. I believe that flies are single. Now, Pause. they're usually around each other. What is this? So they're not. Oh, wait, wait. One just landed on it. Tin foil or? On the yeah. actual onion. Flies are attracted to carbon dioxide, so if you're sweating a lot and you're hot and you're breathing out a lot, then flies will be more attracted to you than when you're cold. Along with dead rotting animals, they also like decaying material. So they like anything from rotten tomatoes to rotten onions. Rotten onions. They like moist food, so you can see them around trashes when your food is decaying and there's a lot of flies around it. The most common species of fly is actually the house fly. You can tell it tell it differently by uh, the coloration and the gray stripe on its back. We're just gonna leave it for a few minutes maybe like 10 to 15 minutes or 20. Take a break. All right, guys, we're actually, they did not want the onion. So I'm actually gonna swab around the area that they keep landing on. So we have to take our swabs. I'm gonna open this one. There's a lot of flies around. Just saw that. But we're gonna take, we're gonna take one of our swabs, close this up. Put this in my... Yeah, it does. It stinks. Well, I don't smell anything right now, but... Probably have a stuffy nose. But, anyway, you got to watch out for the flies. They're all around us. But, I'm going to open the water. We have a little water to collect more bacteria. So, I'm just going to dip it in. All right. Okay. I'm busy right now, but I'm going to balance this. You can see the cotton swab. I'm gonna hold that. Probably put that in my pocket. Yeah, I could pour it's it out first. Lighting. And. You already put the water inside? I put the water on the swab. Okay. So I could. You see where they're around? They're around the trash right there. So we, where should I swab? Just on the landing right there? Probably. All right, watch out. Come on. Move them around. You see? Arya. I'm swabbing right here. Just taking a little. It's on this. Oh, yeah. And then we quickly close, close it. it. And we want... To tape it down, we don't want it to escape. Can I get a few more? Like, down? Z, give me a, a, a few more. There are flies around us for a reason. Okay. It's a fly team. Okay, okay. okay. We're just taping the sides down, trying to make it secure. Time. We're taping it down right now. It's the only time. Okay, we're gonna hold it and we're gonna put it under a lamp 
or maybe we're just gonna leave it at room temperature. After a few days, a we're gonna see AJ. the bacteria can grow. All right. Go. This is an update on the amount of time that the bacteria has been in the plate. It is the second day, so after the night that we wiped the bacteria, another day, and this is the second day. The only progress of any kind that I've seen is this splotch right right next to the tape over here it's pretty clear we taped it up so no bacteria would get out but it's been pretty clear there is this spot of bacteria this is the first piece of bacteria that's grown you can if you can kind of see you can see where I drew lines of bacteria. You can see that this one is at the starting point. And you can see it follows along and this is the third day. This is actually the bacteria that we grew about a month ago. We grew it July the 7th, and it's, what is it, August the 8th? Is it August the 8th? Yeah. But this is what the bacteria looks like. You can see there's white spots everywhere. You can see orange, and that's just nasty. You can see on the side that the bacteria was feeding on the auger, the sugary-like substance. Philippians chapter 1 verse 2. Grace to you and peace from God, our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. Now this experiment was really fun, but make sure you guys throw it away after you're done. If you end up trying this experiment. Um, this Don't just harvest bacteria. Don't just harvest bacteria in your house and make sure never to open this. Well, I'm gonna go throw it away.